I'm back. Um, sorry, I haven't answered anybody yet, but I've been trying to uh, just, you know, gather my thoughts and all that. So I went and I seen Josh, he actually owns the company. So that was really, really nice. And I will be seeing Josh from this moment forward. Um, he actually already kind of knew me from uh, the community and watching my YouTube videos. So he was, he was kind of familiar already with what was going on. So he was really good, actually. I told him exactly how I felt and how um, I thought that they looked to me and uh, some of the problems I had with them. And he put them in, he put the tops in, he put the bottoms in, he, you know, he took put them in, taking them out, looking, biting, having me hold one side up, you know, and giving me the mirror, which, um, you know, actually he's the only person who's ever handed me that mirror. Uh, I, I've never touched that mirror before, so <laughs> that tells you anything. But, um, telling me what looks straight, what doesn't. So basically, um, basically, there's several processes to getting dentures that we all are aware of. You know, we have the impressions, and we have the bite, then we have the wax try-in, then we have adjustments, and then another wax try-in, and then adjustments, and then yes, this is perfect, this is what I want, then they send it off, it's made, you get them, woohoo, you know, everything's, everything's groovy. Um, I couldn't get a wax try-in, and that's because I still had 28 teeth in my head. So the, the wax part, the wax try-in part of, of my, um, uh, oh, my hair looks terrible. Anyways, the wax try-in part of my, um, my procedure was, wasn't there and that's because I still had teeth in my mouth. So there was no tweaking this and tweaking that and kind of getting a, an idea of what was coming my way and what they were dealing with and so on and so forth. So he kind of explained that that's the one thing that delayed or, or caused some, some discrepancies and problems right off the, the get-go. And um, so now what's going to happen is I'm going to, and he let me make this choice. First I asked him what his um, professional opinion was on the matter. He gave me his professional opinion, which I was very thankful uh, for, the honesty. And, um, and then I thought about it for a minute and I decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm basically going to go without my teeth for two weeks. What's going to happen is I'm going to give it one more week um, until the 29th for my gums to shrink and heal a little bit more. And um, then I go in on the 29th and when I go in, he wants to do another bite because the first bite that they did, they did my impressions and then they did like the bite, I don't know what it's called, the bite, I don't know. Um, and basically what he said was after years of being in pain and crumbling broken teeth, uh, my jaw and my body had readjusted my bite to where when I closed my mouth, it didn't hurt. So that bite compared to my bite now, which I'll be getting on the 29th, is going to be very, very different. So the teeth were, the teeth weren't setting correctly, you know, they, it was made to my bite then. But how my bite is now, now that there is no more pain and crumbling teeth and my jaws are closing correctly now, it doesn't line up. So we're going to do another bite impression. That's what I was trying to think of, bite impression. Um, we're going to do another bite impression and then he's going to take my teeth away for a week. He is going, he listened to everything I had to say. He looked at everything. He seen what I was talking about, um, about raising the side up a little bit more making it even. He's going to bring this bulky stuff down just a little bit more. He's going to build up the, um, the inside some, uh, and cause the very back, they're very, very thin where they've already been shaved down, shaved down, shaved down. So he's going to kind of, the way he explained it to me is he's going to build it up some, um, he's going to build it up some, and then he's going to kind of, then he's going to shave it down. So it's going to be kind of a process of building and shaving, building and shaving until he, he gets what I want done. And I'm excited about that for now. And he, <laughs> watching my videos, he asked me, um, you know, he's very concerned and wanted to know how I felt about going without teeth for two weeks and wanted to know my, my emotional and spiritual, uh, you know, grounding kind of where, where I was at and all that. 
And I kind of, I kind of laughed a little bit, and I said, oh, no, I'm fine. You know, I feel very confident right now, and I feel much, much better um, prior to walking in. I really didn't know anything. I felt like I was in the dark about everything, but now, and he explained it very well. He explained everything step by step. He addressed every single problem that I had, um, and he's wonderful. He's done an amazing job, and I'm, I'm very, very confident in him now. I feel so much more confident in the future and what's happening with, with all this. And anyways, um, he asked me where I was, and of course, I think he's seen my video, so he probably watched my mental breakdown the other day. <laughs> um, but just for me as a human, just to kind of throw this out there as, as who I am as a woman and a being on this planet, um, I have been abused, choked, slapped, beaten, neglected, lied to, molested, sexually assaulted, kidnapped, raped, and mistreated my whole life. Um, and that ain't no joke. That ain't no joke. So, I think I can handle this. Two weeks. Two weeks. I'm going to go two weeks without my teeth, and that's okay, because what doesn't kill us makes us stronger. So I know that all this is, oh boy, boy do I have character. I have lots of character, and that, that, that's good. So, I'm, I'm building character. So, I didn't want to leave you guys hanging. Um, that's kind of how my day went today, and I wanted to wait for uh, my baby to come over after work, and um, he grounds me. He makes me feel calm and better about things. So, um, I got to talk to him and hug on him and whine and cry with him and laugh with him over everything. You know, obviously, you know, I wanted to tell him first, you know, what was going on. And then I came right in here to update you guys. I did look over your comments, and um, I can't remember all of them, but I do want to say, someone asked me about my, my hair, and how I get this look is neglect. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I wish I had some, like, fancy, uh, you know, tutorial, hair tutorial video, but um, the truth is, I do nothing. For my hair or face <laughs> um so this is this is right here this is called the uh get 28 teeth ripped out of your head and don't brush your hair in seven days look now i've washed my hair and then i've thrown it up and then you know pass out and and wake up with this beautiful refreshed look and someone else had said something about that noise in the background and yes, it is an oxygen machine. I take care of my mama. Um, she lives here with me and she's on 24-7 uh, continuous oxygen. She is um, COPD and stage emphysema and cancer. And I'm taking care of mama. So that's mama's, um, that's mama's machine in the background, keeping her breathing and, you know, keeping her close to me. So, uh... And I don't really have a lot of room. I know I, I see that I go oh, switch it up, you know, do a video here and do a video there. But the truth is, is um, I gave up my room. I gave I gave I gave up all of my stuff, my uh, my bed and all that. I gave it to people in need and uh, moved my mom in there. And my two oldest daughters were sharing room. My youngest daughter had her room, and I was sleeping in the living room on the couch. Um, and then the diagnosis came recently with her lungs and the condition of her lungs. And um, so uh, she wanted to move out of the living room. She felt like she was just so alone in that room. And I was in there as much in the office as I can, but it, it's been really, really hard lately, actually. And so um, I made another choice to go ahead and uh, get some of that stuff taken care of and, and moved around and moved out of the way. and and move mama out into the living room. So I'm still sleeping in the living room on the couch, but she is uh, near me and I can, now I can just open my eyes and see her instead of, you know, jumping up frantically in the middle of the light and running into the bedroom to make sure she's still breathing and okay. And so, um, this is, this is it. This is kind of like, it's kind of like my spot, you know? <laughs> um, so I'm sorry about that. Maybe sometime, uh, I can do some videos outside and um, which is but it's also hard for me to do that too because 
The day I had all my um, 28 teeth extracted, I left a whole pack of cigarettes on the um, the curb in the parking lot when my car was parked before I walked in and, and had all my teeth extracted because I, I just I literally just walked away from smoking. So when I go outside, I associate going outside and sitting with smoking. So I'm trying to stay away from that right now uh, because I, I don't want to smoke anymore. There's something about watching your mom uh, struggle to breathe after 50 plus years of smoking that motivates you to quit and she asked me to quit and I want to see my grandbabies someday. So yes, that's an oxygen machine, oxygen machine in the background. Ah. Well, you know what's funny is by the time I do get my teeth, I'm going to be so used to, I'm going to be like a pro talking without them. And then I'm going to have to learn to talk all over again. So, golly, that's a lot of learning to do. Lots of learning to do. So, that's, um, and thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Sweet V, for letting me um, quote quote you because those, those are some very wise words that you said this morning. And I really hope that many many others watch that video and um you know keep that fresh on their mind every time they walk into that dentist or tourist whoever that they're going to see i hope they keep that um, fresh on their mind because it is very very important it is very important and i thank you for that because that was great motivation today for me to um address these problems and and have the courage to walk in there and ask to for josh to see me so Thank you. Thank you, everybody. You guys are so awesome. You're so sweet. You're so kind. You're all beautiful. You're all lovely. And we're all going to make it through this. Even though I'm starving, it's going to be okay. Just two more weeks and, you know, I'll get there. A little bit at a time. We'll all get there. So thank you again very much for all your love, support, encouragement, and just amazing support system. Thank you all very much. Bye. Have a good night.